nearly three weeks after Egypt's military overthrew its president, new street battles have erupted in Cairo, killing at least one person. Reza Saya explains how the violence unfolded. Fierce clashes in Cairo between supporters and opponents of the ousted president, Mohamed Morsi. Those clashes captured on video and posted on YouTube. Here's what we know about the violence. Multiple witnesses tell us several hundred supporters of the ousted president were marching towards the U.S. Embassy to protest what they call U.S. meddling in Egypt's affairs. The witnesses say at least some members of that crowd shifted course and started marching towards Tahrir Square, which is the home base of anti-Morsi demonstrators. That's when the clashes began. Witnesses say both sides were firing weapons, what appear to be birdshot, which are weapons that fire off small pellets. But at least one witness telling CNN that a gunman from the Morsi crowd took out what looked like an automatic weapon and fired into the Tahrir Square crowd he said he witnessed at least two people dropping on the ground. As soon as I got hit, I fell, says this volunteer security guard for the anti-Morsi demonstrators. Right before I was hit, someone in front of me got shot in the stomach. In chaotic situations like this, it's incredibly difficult to find out who's who, if anyone has any official affiliation with any political movement. But the Muslim Brotherhood and supporters of the ousted president are going to be under some pressure to explain why some of their supporters headed towards the Tahrir Square crowd and why, according to at least one witness, someone from the pro-Morsi crowd fired an automatic weapon. Monday's clashes come as Egypt's interim government tries to make a smooth transition from Egypt's old leadership to the new. But clearly, there are at least some elements within this political conflict that are trying to disrupt that transition. Reza Saya, CNN, Cairo.